So, Laura, you're in front of the house. What did you see? What do you think it means? Well, this was a total surprise to most of us covering this case, uh, hearing about the search warrant. Once we got out here to Massapequa Park today, um, it was just swarmed just like it was last summer in July when we saw the task force coming here with the command center set up. So we've got two very large vehicles behind me that are still here tonight. That means that they're going to be here again tomorrow. Will it be as long as we saw last year? That was a two-week search of this house. And as uh, Robert will tell you, and we've reported here, it went on for a long time. They, they took so much out last year. What more could they be looking for? We want to bring up that there was a recent search in Manorville. That's about 40 miles east from where we're standing. That is where two of the Long Island serial killer victims, parts of their bodies, were found. That is an area that was heavily searched just last month. So could it have something to do with evidence that was found there? Or when we went to court last time with Rex Hewerman, it was brought up that they were going through 422 electronic devices. They were right. downloading that content. Was it a tip from that? So those are the two things that have been talked about here. But man, oh, man, we're talking about, you talked about the boxes. There were white ones. There were brown ones. There were large bags, small bags. And they have been seeing the investigators going in and out of the front of the house and around the back. And they've been coming out of the back with boxes as well. This is a major and significant search that is underway right now. New York State troopers are behind me. They're going to hold the line for tonight, and they'll be back in the morning, Chris. Mm. We also know that they were taking apart some plumbing. Now, you know, we definitely know what that's about. That's about looking for genetic material. Uh, that, that's why. Um, there's two reasons that investigators do that. One is they think somebody threw something down the drain, like a ring or a piece of jewelry. The second is they're looking for genetic material. Um, counsel, first of all, does this search have anything to do uh, with potential exposure for your client, uh, Rex Hewerman's uh, erstwhile wife? I, I do not believe so, Chris. The DA has been very steadfast from his bail application that Mrs. Ellerup also has been out of the jurisdiction on each occasion that alleged homicide has happened. And he's been consistent about that, uh, that her and the children were traveling at the time of an alleged homicide for each of the four victims that have been in charge so far. How could so, they need to do such an extensive search this late in the investigation if it's about the charges that we already understand? We all know that the grand jury is still seated. Um, I'm not sure what probable cause they obtained to get the judge to sign off on an additional warrant. They spent 13 days at that house, removed every single item from the basement to the attic, and then I was back in that house after they first were allowed to re-enter. It was floor to ceiling high. I can't imagine what they missed or what they're saying they missed or what a probable cause they have. We have not received a copy of the warrant. Looking forward to seeing the warrant as well as the affidavit attached there, too. So it's going to be extremely interesting to see. They even dug up the backyard, Chris, so I'm not sure what they're actually looking for. The, I understand the ME, there, the, the ME is there. My understanding is the ME's office also handles the trace evidence as well as any kind of forensic evidence that will be um, obtained, not necessarily having to do with a body or body parts. That is absolutely true. I checked that today with my own sources about whether they were there looking for a body. I was told no. Um, all right, let's do this. Macedonia, if you find out anything about what led him there, dinner on me. If you give me a look. Chris, <laughs> you know, as soon as I, as soon when as I you're find going out, you'll be the first to know. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.